Hey everyone, it's Brad here, and today I'm super excited because in this video we're going to be lighting up my LEGO Home Alone Mansion with this lighting kit from LeeLightGo.com. This is a lighting kit, a lighting and sound kit, and it's going to really elevate my LEGO home set to the next level. So let's go check it out. Lee Light Go is a third party company designing custom Lego kits for all Lego fans to enjoy. It is their mission to give your bricks new vitality and bring shine to your brick world. All the LED lights are handmade and use environmentally friendly materials. Like I said today, I'm super excited to check out this kit of the Lego Home Alone set. Really excited to check out the unboxing and actually get the lights installed in this build. Alright, so here we've got the packaging here. As you can see, we've got the company's logo and branding on the front as well as what's included in the box. On the top corner here, we've got a sticker indicating that this is the Lego Home Alone kit as well as the sound kit, which is really cool. So it's not just the light kit. There's no tape or anything on this box. so You can easily just pull the side out like this. Uh, there's actually a little tab here of plastic that I can easily just pull out and as you can see it everything is enclosed in this plastic case which I really like and appreciate. You can open up the case by putting these two tabs and everything you need is included here. So the first thing is we've got a uh, remote control. I think this controls the lights obviously and the sound. We've got a USB battery pack which these lights can either be powered with a USB port or this battery pack here uh, for portability. It looks like we've got the sound pack with the speaker and then as you can see, we've got a bunch of different bags here. Each one is nicely labeled, one, two, three, four, five. And then it actually goes into letters as well, A, B, C, D, E. Um, each one here is labeled and it contains all the different lights and equipment to make this successful. Um, what's interesting here, which is different from previous LEGO lighting kits I've seen, is these ones are just the lights. There are actually no bricks or anything included in the model, which I think is pretty interesting. In the past, I've used LEGO bricks uh, to do this, but that is not the case here. So this is gonna be really interesting to assemble. So actually installing the kit seems to be pretty easy. All I had to do was go on their website after my unboxing, pull up the installation guide for the LEGO Home Alone set, and it brought me to this Google Drive here. There's actually 51 pages of pictures on how to install everything, and it goes pretty line by line. It's gonna line up with what's included in each of the bags and show you step by step how to do it. Now that I've got my Home Alone set here, let's test this out and actually do the LED light kit install. As well, here's just a little bit of a better overview of the LED light kits. Like I said, these are really, really tiny lights compared to the other lights that I've used for my LEGO light kits in the past, which I honestly think is pretty interesting. These are the lights here, and they are so, so tiny. These are going to fit into the model a lot nicer than I think some other light kits have in the past. And given how small these wires are, I think they're really going to be well hidden. So as I'm going through the light kit install, I just wanted to show you how seamless this is. I'm very, very impressed. Like I said, I've done light kits in the past and the experience wasn't very pleasant. So that's why I haven't done it recently. As you can see, this is what it looks like with the light kit installed in the Home Alone set. Um, it easily tapes on the top there. There's no Lego bricks or anything. And as you can see, the wires are so thin that when you're looking at it from a normal angle, obviously with these wires with the exception, you can't even tell that there's there's lights here. As you can see, this is what it looks like from the upper view. These are the things that we're going to be plugging in. And then this one is here as well. But from this angle, it looks incredible. All right, so I've got the Home Alone house here. I have spent a couple hours, I would say, putting the lights in the model. I didn't put all of them in, just a lot of the exterior ones. As you can see, a few of the interior ones. I still have here just because I wanted to test it out and see if it works. Here at the back, we've got some of the microchips that are involved, the sound pack, as well as the USB battery pack with the on and off switch. So now I'm going to turn it back around here, and this is going to be the moment of truth. Oh, wow. This is what the Home Alone house looks like. That looks epic. Like you can really see. The lights here is all along the front. You can really see into the house as well. Looks epic. Wow. You can even see up into the attic. Holy. And you can really, really hear the sound. So here's what the front of the set looks like with the lights in. You've already seen it in a little bit more detail, 
But like I said, I want to show you what the back looks like and the actual controls of this set. So I've already shown you guys a pretty decent look at the front of this set and some of the different light features, but now I want to show you what it looks like from the back. So actually in the model that you get to build, it actually shows you putting these circuit panels underneath the house, which you could easily do and it would be great, except I didn't want to have to lift my house up every time that I wanted to light it up. So as you can see here, I've just bought a bunch of 2x4 bricks, stacked them together, and I have created this. This part here is the sound panel which I'm going to tape on here as well that's what you know lights everything up that's what that's what makes the sound of course when you turn everything on here are the actual light panels like I was saying I think I do have to do a little more work to that um, just because I think I put some of them in the wrong spot and like I said I am going to be putting the rest of the lights in now that I've seen them tested out and how they work um, but as you can see some of them are going to the tree house some of them are going right into the house and then on this side here we've actually got the other control panel and this one is for the soundboard so when you want to turn this on you can put the USB in and it'll instantly light up and it'll start with the default sound. So as you can see, this is the one you're hearing right now. And if you want to change the sound, you just hit this little button down at the bottom here and it changes the sequence. And you can just hear it there. And as I said, there's a few different sounds where you can hear everything. Which is cool. And like I said, the lights all go along with what uh, the song is playing. This is the speaker here, and then this is the speaker board. If you want to have the lights on display with just no sound, you could just hit the button and it turns off the speaker, but the lights are still on, absolutely no issue. All right, so this is what the Home Alone model looks like with the Lilaco lights installed. As you can see, I've got them installed on the main mansion of the house, as well as part of the tree fort. Like you saw during the clips that I filmed while I was building this, uh, while I was putting the lights in this set, I quite enjoyed the process. It took me a few hours. At some points it was very tedious. I had to use my nail a lot and it was like really nimble fingers trying to get the lights in. But all in all, I really am really happy with this set. I didn't put all the lights in. In fact, I didn't actually put some in the interior where you're supposed to put them within the fireplace, the tree, as well as the kitchen. I am planning on doing that. However, I just wanted to get started trying this out and seeing how I like it. I didn't want to commit too deep if I wasn't going to enjoy it. What I loved about this lights and why I was scared to use them over some other lights I've used was just because I didn't want to destroy the set. I didn't want to go through and like cobble it up and put a bunch of fake Lego and stuff like that in it. What I loved about these lights is most of them don't contain any Lego or even fake Lego parts. A lot of them were just such thin strips of LED lights that they taped onto the bottom of the Lego. When you take the tape off, it didn't seem to ruin it. I tried it a few times, you know, repositioned it and stuff like that. It didn't seem like it was gonna leave any residue on the Lego, which obviously is very important if you wanna maintain the integrity of your bricks. The wires in general were very, very thin. As, as you can see, there's one running right here, but you can barely see it um, with the background, which is pretty awesome. There's a wire a little bit here, but you could easily hide these a lot better if you wanted to. And that's why I've hidden some of them really well. Um, some of them I still kind of have to go back in. Um, but overall, like I'm just really, really happy with how it worked. I think that I've never seen a Lego light kit look like that before. Um, like I showed you in when I was doing the build, like the parts were just so tiny. I love that there's only one USB port in this entire set, and that's actually right here. It's what connects everything here, or you can plug this into like a wall outlet or anything like that. Um, I, have, I have mine hooked up to the battery, but when you plug it in, it takes about a second to pop on, and then you're good to go. So it does come with some sound, which I'll put close to my mic here. So you can kind of hear that, which is really, really cool, but you can turn the sound off if you don't want to hear it. Um, it also comes with the remote, which I haven't got up and running yet, but I'm going to do that very, very shortly. But like I said, I love that there was just one USB port. Many of the other light builds that I've made in the past, one light kit will have like 10 USB ports. Maybe that's an exaggeration, but at least five USB ports. And it's like, where in a Lego model are you supposed to put big, thick USB ports? So I love that this one was such thin wires that it ran under the Lego bricks and attached outside here with just this battery pack. And if this was even just like a single USB, for this entire set is pretty impressive. Like I said, in the past, I've seen like four or five need to be used for like one modular building. So that's why I think I was a little hesitant here, but I'm very, very impressed with this. And quite frankly, I think this set looks epic. I thought it looked epic before, 
But when you add lights to a Lego uh, element, like a Lego set, it really helps bring out a lot of the detail. Like now when you can look in the windows and see what's going on on the inside of the house, that's pretty epic because that's not something that you would have been able to do before um, to see all that detail in such close up and such well lit. So I think it is pretty awesome. And like I said, I didn't even put all the lights in this house for this video because I wanted to just test it out with a few. But there's no reason why I'm not going to go back and do it because this is truly epic. And this is what my Home Alone set looks like on display here in my Lego room. It looks pretty epic and pretty awesome and honestly looks 10 times better lit up than it did without the lights. All right, so thank you guys so much for checking out today's video showing you how I'm lighting up my Lego Home Alone set. You saw from this video, this set was incredibly easy to light up. It was an amazing light kit, really easy instructions to follow, and honestly just makes the Home Alone set look extra extra amazing it was so easy to do I was really stressed about it because I've had bad experiences with light kits in the past and this was certainly not it if you guys are really interested in seeing what this set looks like a little bit more lit up like what does it look like in the day at night with all the music and stuff like that I've actually gone ahead and put that in a separate video it's got some music from the movie in there so I was afraid I might get a copyright strike in this video and I didn't want it to get taken down you know I wanted you guys to be able to see how this works and how this you know setup actually happened so I have put that in a separate video that's actually going to come out tomorrow let's hope it doesn't get copyright uh, striked and taken down but this this is pretty amazing if you guys are interested in learning more more about lelightgo.com you can just visit their website use the promo code that's linked in the description to save money off your order it's an incredible discount and you definitely definitely don't want to miss out anyway guys thanks again so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed stay tuned for tomorrow to see this lit up all in action i promise you will not be disappointed all right guys thanks again for watching if you enjoyed don't forget to leave a like comment and of course subscribe and i'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video